everybody and welcome to Word of Mouth Theatre. This is a review of Alegria by Cirque du Soleil. This was at the first direct arena in Leeds on Sunday the 27th of October 2013. I'm just going to make some comments on the story and performance within the show, the lighting, the costumes and the sets, and then provide a summary of the show. So, some of the main universal themes within this production include youth, struggle for power and different kinds of people reflected within society. Some great examples of the elements of youth include portrayals and characterizations of two fabulously talented clowns. They perform acts such as flying paper aeroplanes on the stage, one wants to fly a plane further than the other, one wants to build a bigger plane than the other, one wants to destroy the other person's plane, and then they also are scared as well within society. They're just experiencing life. They're just being mischievous together and they're just having fun. We see the struggle for power for things like the performers making spectacles on the stage with their amazing performances to people who are representing kings and nobility in society. A massive range of different kinds of characters, which is an interesting metaphor because as we see these performances created on the stage, this is being watched by different kinds of people within the society that are within the audience. One thing to mention is that the stakes and the bar is constantly raised by the amazing and talented performers within Cirque du Soleil. We're seeing acts like somebody performing lots of stretches and just really dynamic movements on the stage in terms of balancing acts, somebody who's balancing on bricks, as we see somebody balancing on their hand. We think that this is just amazing what they're seeing, we think it can't get any higher and then the stakes are raised when the bricks that he's standing on his hands and performing amazing stretching positions on just move higher in the air, displaying more strength, more stamina and just more performance spectacle as a creative individual and an artist on the stage. We're also seeing things like trapeze artist swinging around in the air he's going to see things like a human swing 50 feet in the air where one person is swinging around on that it moves to two people to three people to four people just when you think it's amazing it goes higher and higher and higher we also see an individual performing a trapeze act in the air swinging through the air jumping out of his trapeze swinging upside down on the trapeze swinging one-handedly on the trapeze you're going to see things like people dancing with fire, people performing amazing hypnotic, hypnotic acts with fire and you're also going to see things like a woman who is swinging hoops around on her body as she spins around one hoop, she gets two hoops, she gets three hoops, her, her body is just so in sync with all these hoops just when you think it can't get any better, four, five, six and seven hoops come on the stage. We also see things like people who are jumping up and down, swirling around in the air as they bounce off platforms that people have as their balancing acts and platforms for their performances and we also see people that just perform amazing stretching positions really dynamic and versatile cast of people and just the skill and talent and the sheer stamina and just the level of mind control that these performances have is just amazing to see and just really great to witness on the stage. And we see great examples of characters such as the Ringmaster and just a flamboyant example of the fantasy world and lots of individuals and lots of people that form different communities and form collective units within the societies that they're representing on the stage. So, in terms of the lighting, there's amazing lighting design in the first direct arena and with the Cirque du Soleil performances and it's really vibrant, it really helps to define the individuals, it really helps to add intensity to some of the great feats that they're performing on the stage and in the air and it really helps to make things colourful, it really helps to create this lovely fantasy world that is also really emulating reality as well and just really cuts out great examples of the individuals within their costumes and the bright colours that we see in terms of the performance acts that they're creating on the stage as well and some really great use of blackouts in the show which helps to emphasise the dynamic and just the heartwarming feel and exhilaration of a Cirque du Soleil performance. In terms of the costumes, there's some really bright, lavish, expensive costumes within this production. Lots of depictions of fantasy characters. We've got lots of body type costumes which include puppetry, masks for people's faces. You've got wigs, you've got really interesting makeup and really figure-hugging costumes for some of the performers who are 
making the circus acts on the stage and just really different characterizations of different forms of people in society ranging from the king to the fool to the band members and just some amazing theatrical costumes on the stage that are really enjoyable to watch and really helps to add colour definition and individuality to the performances but also help to represent communities and people within society that overall works and creates great themes within the minds of the audience both consciously and subconsciously. In terms of the sets there's some amazing sets in a thrust stage environment on the stage in the first direct arena. There's a huge cross performance style stage which includes things like a conveyor belt where actors are coming on, performing, jumping in the air and we also see a construction of various different stages which includes things like the trapeze artists are getting hoisted in the air, safety nets have been created on the stage and we're also seeing performance spaces being created with some hydraulics on the stage which are very versatile, very intriguing and very eclectic as well. This performance space goes up to a, if you like, columned Roman and Greek style balcony design with a huge, if you like, aerial sculpture in the air and we're also seeing a domed effect within the set as well and this is just a great spectacle to see. It's really vibrant, really changing and really helps to emphasise some of the intensity of the performance which is great to witness on the stage. So, to summarise, I would say that this is an amazing performance it's a really unique thing that Cirque du Soleil are doing. It's great, for example, that people ranging from 8 to 80 years old can enjoy this show. Um, sitting on the row where I was, there was a kid of probably about 5 years old with his father. And just the exhilaration that they both experienced. Everybody has a spellbinding experience when you see a Cirque du Soleil show. You're seeing great elements of theatricality. You're seeing great elements of circus performances. You're seeing great stories being told. You're seeing universal characters on the stage. And you're just seeing something that makes you want more. You're seeing something that's coming together from a great creative team. And if you're seeing one show, one thing's for sure, you'll definitely want to see another one. It works great in the arena format and it's a really dynamic and entertaining experience to see. You'll have a great time and there's something for everybody. So, check it out if you get a chance. You'll have a great time. So, that's about it for this review. So remember to check out what's happening at your local theatres and amateur dramatic societies. Get involved, go and see a show and tell somebody about it. Tell it spread word of mouth about the beauty and magic that can be found within live theatre. It's about time to sign out now, so enjoy the show and see you next time.